Hi guys, this is Assignment Expert and this is our today's problem. We have a pipe with gradually tapering section and diameter decreases from 0.4 to 0.25 meters. Inside the pipe there is incompressible liquid with density 1000 kilos per meter cubed. And the pipe runs full of this liquid. We know the speed of flow in the smaller part of our pipe, it is 2 meters per second. Our task is to find the flow speed in the larger part, also the volume flow rate and the mass flow rate. Let's begin. First, we need to find the speed in the larger side of this pipe, and we can find it from the continuity law. AL times VL equals AS times VS where AL and AS are the cross-sections of the larger and smaller parts and VL, VS are the flow rates in this part. The cross-section of a pipe is pi times R squared. So we have pi RL squared times VL equals pi RS squared times VS. We can cancel out pi and from here we derive VL as Vs times Rs squared over Rl squared. And this gives us 2 times the radius of the smaller part of the pipe, which is half of the diameter, so we get 0 0.125 squared over half of the diameter of the larger part, and this is 0 0.2 squared. And this gives us 0 0.78 meters per second. So here is the flow rate in the larger part of our pipe. All right, guys. So here we found the flow rate in the larger section of our pipe. Now let's find the volume flow rate and the mass flow rate. The volume flow rate is the rate of flow in the volume V per unit time T. First, let's write the formula for volume. V equals V for speed times T times A. Now, if we move T to the other side, we will get delta V over delta T equals V times A. So actually, this is our formula for the volume flow rate. Now, we know that the cross section is pi R squared. And here we can use either a smaller or larger side of our pipe. Let's take the larger part. So we get VL times pi times RL squared. And this gives us uh, 0 0.78 times 3.14 times 0 0.2 squared and equals 0 0.098 uh, meters cubed per second. Now we moved on to our last task, the mass flow rate. First, let's recall the formula that relates the mass with the volume. M equals rho times V. And now let's have a closer look at this formula. If we divide both sides by T, we'll get the following. And we will have delta over here. We will get that our mass flow rate is equal to rho times the volume flow rate. So this is very simple. Now we just need to put our values into the formula. So we have 1000 times 0 0.098. And we get 98 kilos per second. So now all our tasks are complete. We found the flow rate in the larger parts of our pipe, the volume flow rate and the mass flow rate. Thanks for watching and I see you soon again.